being made. You have just tuned in to The Rock and Wrestling Connection right here on MTV. And I'm your guest VJ, the incredible Hulk Hogan. You know something? I can't wait because history's going to be made. In just a short while, I'm going to have the heavyweight champion of rock and roll music, Miss Cindy Lauper, with me and the heavyweight woman's champion of wrestling, Miss Wendy Richter. And so stick around because there's a lot going down, Daddy, and there's a lot more video music coming up here on the MTV Rock and Roll Connection. The king of rock and roll. But in that video, man, there was a few other kings, like the great Elvis Presley, the great Chuck Berry, and right here, your guest BJ, the king of professional wrestling, Daddy, the incredible hoster. You know something? Later on, man, we're going to show you that match in Madison Square Garden, the rock and roll wrestling connection of the world. We're going to show you how I dropped the Sheik, won the world's heavyweight title with a 24-inch python. So stick around, because right now, we're going to a little short break. I'm the incredible Hulk Hogan, the main man in your rock wrestling connection around MTV. We want you to stay with us because coming up in just a minute, we're going to have the queen herself, man, Cindy Lauper and Shebop. That was Shebop by Cindy Lauper. And if history has ever repeated itself, it's going to do it now because that baby's going right to the top. And sitting on my left right here, my main lady in rock and roll, Mrs. Cindy Lauper. And we're glad to have her with us. You know, Cindy recently just made the transition. Managed a woman's wrestler, Wendy Richter, took her straight to the top by defeating that old ugly moolah. And now, you're the first rock and roller ever to do wrestling and rock and roll together. And I love it. Oh, thank you. I love it, too. I tell you, I think that rock and roll and wrestling has a lot... Uh, in common because of the uh, extreme athletic ability that you have to have to go inside the ring, to go on that stage and perform. You have to uh, be like my champ over there, Wendy Richter, 145 pounds of twisted steel and sex appeal, mm -hmm. I'll tell you. Well, you know what's so funny, Cindy? When I watch you on the stage performing, you go full bore, full steam ahead. I mean, you're sweating. I see all the excitement and all the energy. And then when I watch you watch walking, in Madison Square Garden, that same type of energy was there. Those same type of fans. It's like rock and wrestling mixed together. And you're the king of both of them, and I love it. You know something? We might be around for a long time. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think rock and roll and wrestling is going to be together for years and years to come because they are so well linked together. I think that you, Hulk, are the epitome of Ooh. rock and roll and wrestling yourself because of your ability to communicate with uh, the masses, you know what I mean? And, and your energy. You have such incredible energy, Hulk. And I've seen you fighting in Madison Square Garden, and I got chills. I'm telling you, I got chills just like as if I was at a concert. It was incredible. Well, you know, Cindy, everybody knows that I'm the heavyweight champion of the world, and my close friends like you know that I'm a rocker and a roller and a little funky, too. But this Shebop, man, this new video you got, it gets me so excited when I see Shebop. It's going right to the top. I can't wait because in a few, sh it's already there probably as we're talking, it's probably already stored there. But right now, coming up, we got hot girls in love and this is the best looking lady around town. Thank you. That was ZZ Top of Legs. I've got Miss Cindy Lauper with me. I'm the incredible Hulk Hogan. And a little later on, we're going to have Wendy Richter with us, the woman's heavyweight champion wrestler hey! of the world. We'll be back right after this. Once again, I am the incredible Hulk Hogan, and I have Miss Cindy Lauper with me and the heavyweight woman's champion of the world, Wendy Richter. You know, we've got a great thing going here. Cindy, she's Wendy's manager, and you know something? I can't believe it. They went all the way to the top in Madison Square Garden and won the world's heavyweight championship. That's right, Hulk. I'm the new ladies' champion, thanks to Cindy Lauper, and I'm proud of it. I'm proud of you, Wendy. You were great. You were really great. Well, everything's just been happening so fast the past couple months, but golly, I've been in a video, won the championship belt, and... I'm just as happy as I can be. You deserve every bit of it. You're great. You're 145 pounds of twisted steel and sex appeal, right? <laughs> and I love it. You know what's so funny about the whole thing? I watched you guys train together. I watched yeah. how you straightened her out, got her head hard. right, got yeah. psyched up. But this Lou Albano, you know, on the videos, I don't understand. A few times you've helped him out and given him a little part. But right now, are you guys still friends or what's the story with this guy? Well, Lou 
you know, Wu has a problem, Hulk. You, well, you know, Wendy, I know no. you, you don't like him still, and she keeps telling me you don't trust him, but he, he has a calcium deposit in the, in the medulla of his unborn god, and that's his problem. And he, I mean, it, I know it's a heavy thing to talk about. I mean, he's been to, you know, Dr. Popovnik, and he said he's schizophrenic and all of that stuff. And I understand that, but he means well, and, and he's, he's gonna change. I know he is. He said he would, and, um, you know, all right, so we forced his way on the set that yeah. day. I know you were really mad. Maybe you should, you know, if you want to talk a little bit about it, I don't know. Uh, well, know. he just came in rat and raving. He just bullied his way right in. Um, everyone just had to stand back or get run over, and he, he didn't have to insult you or myself. I, I just didn't like what he was saying about you and your family, your mother yeah. right there and everything. Yeah, Dominique, yeah, uh, uh, Katrine, but... Uh, Katrine, uh, he apologized to Katrine too. He apologized to Aunt Gracie for Nana, who wasn't there. His Aunt Gracie accepted the apology uh, from Wu, and uh, he says he's going to change. You know, and who knows? Maybe that calcium deposit uh, will clear up. You uh, know, I wouldn't hold my breath. <laughs> well, you know what's so funny? I watched Wu Alabama over the years, and I watched how he slides around and sneaks in and sneaks up on people. And what I'm afraid of is now that you're Wendy's manager. Yeah. Even though he has apologized, I mean, you know, this is a pretty tricky dude here, this captain. Yeah, and he'll go to no extremes to win titles, to hurt people, and do all kind of stuff like that. I don't know, even if the man did apologize to me, I'd be watching my back all the time. Maybe you guys should watch each other's back, because I just yeah. don't believe the man's sincere. Well, nobody's going to hurt Wendy. I mean, I won't let nobody hurt my girl, I'll tell you. I, no, I'm, I don't hurt you either. I'll watch your back. I know, but, but I'm, I'm telling you that Lou could change. I mean, he was very heavy-handed, you know. And then he, that's why when you look at the video, you see the, the robe is all ripped yeah. and everything. But I mean, I mean, he's forgiven. He accepts the fact that me and Wendy showed him the bad principle. Beaten, Beaten annihilated, and destroyed. Mercy. And he is not going to be acting up anymore because we just show him some more of that bad principle. That's right. And he understands that. And all women are not slime. They do not belong pregnant and barefoot in the kitchen. And he takes that back. And I'm telling you that he's going to change. We, we've changed him already. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's on the road to recovery. I, I just have this feeling. I don't know. Well, my only thought in mind is Lou Albano, being the man that I know he is, he is going to want to get that title back. And he'll probably get the fabulous move back in shape or some other type of wrestler to wrestle you, Wendy. And I just want you guys to know that I feel you better watch out because he might take a cheap shot just to get this beautiful belt back. He ain't getting this belt back. This no is way. Wendy's and it's going to be hers for a number of years under the tutelage and guidance of me, Cindy Lauper, who will not leave the side of my client. I'm not like him when he freaks out. She had this belt for 27 years, <laughs> and Cindy and myself got it from him, and we're not going to let him have it back, yeah. or anyone. Well, I tell you, I believe with this combination right here, you're going to be around for a long time. So I'm going to hang around you guys because I want to stick around. But right now, we got Mr. Rod Stewart with infatuation. Yeah. Whew. That was Death Leopard with Photograph. And I want you all to stick around now because you're going to see the war, the battle of all times, when the Holster Man steps in the ring, wins the world title January 23rd in Madison Square Garden. So don't you go nowhere, man. Hulkamania is running wild. <laughs>